Film Threat was an online site that focuses primarily on independent film, although it also reviews DVDs of mainstream films and Hollywood movies in theaters. It first appeared as a photocopy zine in 1985, created by Wayne State University students Chris Gore and Andre C. Wood. In 1997, Film Threat was converted to a solely online resource. Beginning, the first initial issues of Film Threat combined pseudo-political ranting by C. Wood and cinematic material and parody of mainstream film by Gore. In Gore's own words, I thought, wouldn't it be great to start a punk rock attitude movie magazine, and then, the people from this magazine would eventually go off and make films. Wouldn't it be great? In issue 9, Film Threat became a printed magazine, and it was also around this time that C. Wood left the project to pursue independent filmmaking and to write seriously about the cinema. This second life of Film Threat included such classic moments as Gore and Square Dance instructor Paul Zimmerman getting kicked out of the 1988. Toronto Film Festival, only to return the following year under fake names representing a fake publication, Film Forum. In issue 18 San Francisco State student David E. Williams wrote in, sparking a friendship with Gore that would lead to both of them relocating to Los Angeles in summer 1989 to work on the growing magazine, Larry Flint Publications. During the early 1990s, Film Threat was transformed as Gore attempted to find a more mainstream release for the magazine, while its new offshoot Film Threat video guide, edited by Williams, continued to focus on the underground films and filmmakers that the magazine had featured in its early days. Film Threat would eventually find a new home with Larry Flint Publications, relaunching in November 1991 as Volume 2, Issue 1. I darted to the newsstand to grab the first glossy edition of what promised to be the turning of the tide for Let's Blow and Stroke the Interviewee type film journalism. And whose face did I see? Macaulay Culkins, stated filmmaker Kevin Smith of the first issue of Film Threat's new edition. In 1993, the magazine, then published bi-monthly, had a circulation of 125,000, and was competing with such titles as Premiere. Paul Zimmerman became executive editor in 1994, and the magazine continued to grow. But Film Threat's tenure with Larry Flint Publications ended after 28 issues in June 1996. Gore managed to buy back the rights from LFP and launched the magazine for a third time in December 1996. He would print only two issues, however, before retiring the magazine in 1997. Website Gore launched Film Threat as a website in 1996. At first a sparse collection of film news, FilmThreat.com grew, covering both the indie and mainstream equally. Over the first 14 years of its online life, FilmThreat.com continued in the tradition of its print counterpart, courting controversy, such as when editor Ron Wells wrote a scathing criticism of Harry Knowles. Chris Gore was succeeded as editor of the website by Ron Wells, who was then followed by Eric Campos and then Mark Bell. Over the course of 2009, the site was edited by Don R. Lewis and Matthew Sorrento, before a brief hiatus where the site went offline in December 2009. On January 25, 2010, during the Sundance Film Festival, Gore sold the website and rights to the magazine to former editor Bell, who then relocated Film Threat to New Jersey and relaunched the website on February 23, 2010. On May 11, 2011, Film Threat announced that it planned to produce a quarterly print and ebook edition beginning in a September 2011, relying upon crowdfunding for the resources.
The campaign to return film threat to print raised only $5,111 of its $60,000 crowdfunding goal, and were unsuccessful in its attempt to raise the necessary monies by the conclusion of the crowdfunding campaign. In 2011, Film Threat instituted a for-profit, unsolicited submission service charging independent filmmakers a fee who wished to have their work reviewed by the site. However, Film Threat still reviewed select films that are part of the site's regular coverage for free. In 2015, Chris Gore reacquired Film Threat and took the site offline, seeking to reboot the Film Threat brand with her Save Film Threat crowdfunding attempt at Kickstarter, which ran from March 19 to April 22. The attempt failed, with pledges totaling $63,725 falling short of the goal of $125,000. Staff Chris Gore, founder, CEO, publisher, Mark Bell, editor-in-chief, Don Lewis, associate editor, John Schnepp, film critic, Chase Whale, film critic, Don Simpson, film critic, Noah Lee, film critic, Dennis Priwara, film critic, David E. Williams, film critic, Dave Parker, film critic, Paul Zimmerman, film critic, Rick Morris, film critic, Amy Ahandler, film critic, 